Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. You may have an iPod. You may have had an iPod. You may get an iPod at some point in the future. And when you get a new iPod, getting the data off your old iPod is a bit of a challenge. Easy to get on there, not easy to get off. So uh, what do you do? What do you do? Well, you could cry yourself to sleep at night, which I know some of you do on a regular basis. Or you could look for a solution to help get that data off the iPod back onto some kind of computer so that you can put it on another iPod or another device altogether. You know, get the data out once it's on there. It's possible. And Aaron Stepanik, and I, he was just correcting me a couple of minutes ago. He's in the chat room right now at live.perillo.com. He forwarded me uh, to this website, pod2pc.com. And there's a corresponding website for a Mac version, pod2mac.com. They, they link back and forth. And quite simply, what pod2pc or pod2mac does is it looks at your iPod or iPhone and allows you to transfer music, photos, videos, data off the iPod back onto your computer. Whether you're using Mac OS X or using Windows, it works either way. And here's the thing, it doesn't cost you a thing. So it'll save your ratings, help you export your playlists, uh, give you the ability to watch to make sure you're not getting duplicate transfers. It really is a necessary tool and it's free, works with both Mac OS X and Windows. Pod2PC.com or Pod2Mac.com, free, uh, easy to use. I wouldn't say it's the most beautiful utility I've ever seen, but it is a utility. A very utilitarian utility. It works. Gets the job done. Get the data off that iPod onto, well, your computer. And let me give you a practical uh, uh, example of how I could have used this uh, weeks and weeks ago. I had to get um, a new hard drive for my MacBook, and I used the MacBook as a syncing point for my iPhone. Well, I had all the data on the iPhone, but it wasn't on the computer. So when I plugged it in, it says, ah, we don't know anything about this iPhone. Uh, we're going to have to like wipe everything off on the phone. I'm like, no, I've got like podcasts on there that I haven't listened to yet. I don't want you to wipe anything out. I needed this utility. I ended up finding another utility that uh, was shareware and it worked okay. However, I'm willing to give this one a shot because it's free and it works with either Mac OS X or Windows. So whether you have an iPod now, you had an iPod in the past, or you're going to get an iPod or another iPod, don't bookmark this. Download it right now. Have it at your disposal because at some point you're going to wish you remember it. Might as well have it or let other people know about it either way. My email address is chris at perillo.com if you know of any other useful utilities to pass along. I'll take it no matter what the platform. I do prefer cross-platform solutions, Windows or Mac OS X. If, if I have uh, something for, for both sides, I'm very happy because that way people don't look at me and say, oh, you're too PC, oh, you're too Mac. I like being right in the middle because I'm a geek, like the rest of you. And I've met a few of you in real life uh, and, and, and certainly online through geeks.perillo.com. We've also got this chat room, which is sometimes moderated as it is right now. Got a few uh, people who are uh, bouncing off the walls when I started to record this video and had to restart it. Um, but if you love talking tech, no matter what time of day or night, you're more than welcome to stop by. You get your name up in lights when we're unmoderated. You get to be a part of the video experience. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, whether I'm in this chair or not, at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.